Uh, today I'm extending the statewide uh, eviction bridge for 30 days until the end of October to make sure that local governments have an opportunity to uh, issue the rental relief that is now available to citizens. This brief extension will uh, help ensure that no one is evicted while large amounts of rental assistance funding is still available but unused. Uh, this bridge was currently set to expire, as you know, on September 30th, but we're hearing that counties need uh, a little more time to be able to effectuate the rental relief that is available today to citizens. We have good reason to believe that counties will be able to move more quickly now, in part because the U.S. Treasury has changed some of the rules that makes it it's much easier to distribute the money to citizens. We're moving toward the permanent solution that came about through the work with the legislation, legislature in the last session. Uh, I deliberately moved this process through the legislature to provide a long-term solution and I'm extending the bridge to be able to make sure that that solution gets in place. There has been good progress made by counties to establish eviction resolution programs. 27 of 39 counties already have such a program in place. As you know, we also have strong tenancy protection, or excuse me, preservation policies now in place because of House Bill 1236 and Senate Bill 5160. I want to thank Senator Cooter and Representative Macri as the prime sponsor of those two bills. Uh, we've done a lot to have a more sustainable situation in Washington because of this legislation. Landlords under this must offer tenants a reasonable repayment plan for any back rent. Landlords must include information regarding a tenant's right to legal counsel, and we are one of the first states to provide the right to legal counsel to tenants in this regard, while they're issuing a two-week notice to pay or vacate. And they must provide information about the dispute resolution program under local eviction resolution programs. But we do need to see more progress on these relief programs, both for tenants and landlords. Money intended to keep renters housed and keep landlords in business is available, and it needs to get distributed as soon as possible, obviously. And we're helping local leaders where we can do that. We encourage our local governments to redouble their efforts, and we'll continue to rely on the good faith partnership we've enjoyed with our state landlords as we navigate these extraordinary times. We think this extension provides ample time for these funds to get out to citizens. Our economy is improving, unemployment is down, and we're at the point where this makes sense. And I'd be remiss not to mention that, as I've said, we are the first state in the country to have a right to counsel in eviction proceedings. This should be standard across the country. I hope our leadership will be followed in other places in the future. So our extension will expire on October 30th at 11.59. Uh, just some advice, practical advice for people. The Washington State Office of Attorney General has information in multiple languages on available resources to help you pay your rent, including state and local rental assistance programs. That's available at this uh, website on your screen. Uh, www.atg.wa.gov forward slash landlord dash tenant. State law provides you the right to representation, to legal representation. And the court may be able to appoint you a lawyer to represent you without cost if you are a qualifying um, low-income renter. If you believe you're a qualifying low-income renter, and would like an attorney appointed to represent you, you can contact the eviction defense screening line at 855-657-8387 or apply online at the uh, address on your screen. We've got additional information at two other information sources that are on the screen, and there are free or low-cost mediation services also available uh, at this site.